Today, the man who pleaded guilty to murdering 23-year-old Mackenzie Lewick, Ayola Ajayi, was sentenced to life in prison without parole. Fox 13's Erin Cox has followed this case since the day after Mackenzie went missing. She joins us live from the courthouse with what happened today. Erin? And the Lewick family says what happened in court today was not about closure for their family, nor was it justice for Mackenzie. Rather, it was the process of making sure Ayula Ajayi can never hurt someone ever again. It's hard to come to terms with what happened in Ayula Ajayi's house 16 months ago. For the Lewick family, there can be no justice served for what happened to Mackenzie. I've waited a long time to confront my daughter. I have no compassion for you, as you have no compassion for my daughter. The 23-year-old University of Utah student went missing after returning home from her grandmother's funeral. Mackenzie had met up with Ajayi at Hatch Park after meeting him through a dating app. Two weeks later, police found the charred remains of Mackenzie in Logan Canyon. My life has been changed due to the selfish premeditated decision you made on June 17, 2019. Instead of planning my daughter's graduation party, I planned for memorial. Ajayi pled guilty and was sentenced to life in prison without parole. There is no sense of perfect justice here. There's just an accountability. And the one thing that our community can rest assured with and her family can rest assured with is that Mr. Ajayi will spend the rest of his life and he will die in prison. Though the process is over, the memories and the scars for the Lewick family will always remain. We are blessed and honored to have Mackenzie in our lives for the last 23 years. Her memories and her spirit will continue to live with us. The judge says Ajayi pled guilty to the three most severe criminal crimes in criminal, in criminal code. He will serve each of those crimes consecutively. In Salt Lake County, Aaron Cox, Fox 13 News, Utah.